Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to edit your videos using iMovie. And if you're interested, just keep watching. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to go into my iMovies and I am going to create a new project. So I'm going to click the plus sign and then I'm going to click onto movies. Movies. Hello. There we go. All right. So I have some footage. So I'm just going to randomly use whatever. So I'm going to use this footage right here. And at the bottom, check on create movie. So I don't think this footage that I have has any sound on it, but I'm going to play it just to make sure. Oh, yep. No, I don't have anything. All right. So let's stop it. Now, in case your footage that you're going to import into iMovie has um um, sound to it and you don't want the sound you can easily just click on the video and a bunch of options are going to appear at the bottom now what you want to do is either simply go to volume and you're going to exit out and that basically kills the sound that's on your video um, or what you can do is go to actions which is the big scissor at the bottom right here actions and you can detach the audio which is this button right here. You can create it background. Um, now that it's highlighted in green, you can go ahead to the delete button and delete it out and that totally kills the sound. I'll be able to add my own music to my video. So what I'm gonna do is to drop some music into this video. Go on out and I'm gonna go into my documents folder. I'm gonna click the edit button at the top and I'm gonna click on this. And I want it to go specifically to my iMovie, this button that says open in, and the first couple of options, which is mine, iMovie, or current movie that I'm editing, which is one. As you can see, it drops directly into iMovie. Don't want this audio library um, picture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap on this, and I am going to detach audio I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna create it as a background. Then I'm gonna tap on that and then I'm gonna delete it, which is the delete button over here. All right, so let's play it just to make sure. Okay, so that's exactly what I want. All right, so now, now that we have the sound that I'm looking for, Let's basically start from the beginning. So I want something in the beginning of this video, um, basically an introduction. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go on up to the top and I'm gonna press the, the plus sign and I am gonna insert, let's say a photo and I'm gonna choose whatever I have. So let's say I want this one at the very top. Now. Okay, so now my photo is in and there's nothing on it. It's just basic abstract art. So let's say if I wanted to um, type in the, the heading of this video. So let's say, all right, so I'm gonna tap on it and I'm gonna go at the bottom right here to my titles. The T indicates that I wanna do word and so I wanna write. So I'm gonna use any one of these formats that they have offered to me so let's try gravity so i'm going to go into gravity and then i'm going to tap up here and it's going to indicate for me to type the text or the title and let's call this imovie intro how about that okay let's try it and see how it sounds or looks Okay, now I would probably want a different sound um, or different audio, whatever you want to call it for my intro. So what I'm going to do is I am going to cut this. So I'm going to click on here and I'm going to split it. And I'm going to split the very first part of it that I cut. I'm going to silence that. So this is what happens when you do that. So what I'm going to do is I am going to add a different sound and I am going to go up here 
and I'm gonna click the plus the plus sign. I'm gonna click the plus sign and I am gonna go into audio at the bottom. This is audio, and I'm gonna go into sound effects and see what they have to offer. Um, now this if since I'm doing a video that's almost seasonal like I can probably do bell towers okay so let's see where they dropped that that was dropped into here now this is not where I really want it so I'm gonna position it here I just picked it up and basically dragged it and I see that it's it's overlapping into this video so I'm gonna tap it and I'm basically gonna cut it I'm gonna split it and then I'm gonna delete this highlighted portion <clears throat> I'm gonna split it and I'm gonna delete that highlighted portion by clicking my delete button there we go so let's see let's split this again because it's overlapping and once again I'm gonna silence this portion volume silence and let's play it and see what happens Play. Okay, I think that transition will work for me fine. Sound effects, I'm gonna take it off because I think that's what's giving me that wishing sound. So let's leave it on gravity and see what happens. Let's try this again. Okay, now that's much better because that whooshing sound at the beginning um, for the text in was kind of throwing me off. So we got that taken care of. So what we're gonna do now is let's say I wanna eliminate certain aspect of my video. So let's say if I'm not happy with me um, turning the corner here. So I am gonna tap on this and the process is basically still the same so I'm going to go into action at the bottom and I'm going to split it. So I have split that and I can move it on up until I really have officially turned that corner and hit the tree. And I'm basically just moving it with my finger if you guys can see that. All right, so I'm going to split it again. And I'm just gonna delete it. You guys know where that delete button is located. Uh-oh. Now when you make an error like that, like I just did, this button right here is what's gonna save your behind. It's basically gonna undo my error. Okay. I think this is the this is the clip I should be more focused on. Because that's the turning clip. So this is what I'm gonna delete. So I'm gonna take that out. Now let's say if I don't want my video to be, you know, as boring, but just basically music. Let's say if I just wanted to add some audio, like my voice, I can do an intro starting here at the beginning. So I'm gonna go to this microphone. And it's basically about to set me up to record, as you can see. So let's go ahead and start something. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how easy it is to edit your videos using iMovie. And if you're interested, just keep watching. Now, I have stopped it and basically, instead of accepting right away, I wanna review it to make sure that's exactly what I want, so I'm gonna review it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how easy it is to edit your videos using iMovie. And if you're interested, just keep watching. Okay. Hey guys, welcome. Okay, so basically I'm fine with that. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna lower the sound because you can't really hear my voice much, can you? So I'm gonna accept it first. And I am going to lower the sound. I'm gonna take it to the end of it. I'm gonna tap on the sound at the bottom. I'm gonna split it. And this part, I am going to lower the volume. I'm not going to completely take it off. I'm just going to lower it. So let's see from here. 
welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to edit your videos using iMovie. And if you're interested, just keep watching. Um, I think maybe instead of lowering it that low, I can bring it up a tad bit because I would kind of like to hear the background. Let's see. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to Let's bring it up just a little bit more. Well, today I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to edit your videos using iMovie. And if you're interested, just keep watching. Okay, all right, I think that's good. So if you want to wrap this up and you want to create an, uh, an outro, like you created an intro, you go ahead and you can probably add the same intro picture you just do the same by adding the text and um, let's do gravity once more and you basically just type uh, thanks for watching thanks for watching um, guys if you wanted to duplicate any scenes let's say if the Christmas tree I wanted to duplicate this part and put it at the end as my end result for my video i can click on it and basically i'm going to click action and i'm going to click duplicate it duplicates the scene and i'm going to take it and drag it all the way to the end of the video and play it <laughs> Also, guys, if you wanted to speed up your video or slow it down, that's also option. That's also an option for you. So I can click on this, and I'm gonna go into my speed button, and I can speed it up all the way two times, or I can slow it down. And you can do it in between. Also, it doesn't have to be um, at the lowest and at the extreme. You can do it at one and a quarter one um one and a half one and three fourths either one um anything that works for you you guys can do it so basically what have i covered i've covered audio i've called it intro outro your albums are basically your um your music that you have on um on iMovies um your audios you can use your theme music um, which is basically um, the setup of your project. It gives you, you know, like stuff like that that's just really loud and annoying. Um, you have your sound effects, which I showed you how I use the bell tower, your recordings. Your playlist is basically your music that you have on your um, iPad or iPhone device. Um, and your songs and basically that's it. Until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Take care and happy holidays. One last thing I forgot to actually show you guys is the transition between screens. Um, now, if you look between each um, video clip, there are these little squares in between. And they basically uh, give you the option to transition uh, whether you want to do a smooth transition or any other option. So let's change it so you guys can see. I'm going to tap on that. And it's gonna give me the option the options. It's gonna give me the options down, but show you slide, not white, but slide, and show you how that looks. Let's show you guys once more. It basically slides the scene in. Now if I change it to dissolve here's how this one looks it's almost like a smooth transition also um, let's try fade and see how that looks let's see that again that was pretty quick Okay, and there you go. Those are the options for transitions 
or transitioning into different footage of your video.